I'm still working with this uh, Jewel Ringer, Super Jewel Ringer 2.0, uh, the laser saber uh, idea that uh, a bunch of us worked on. And uh, I'm starting to use this. Uh, this has turned out to be a real practical thing, but they're still looking at the lumens per watt on the efficiency and whether we're gaining anything or not. So I have a 12 volt bulb that's like that. It's rated about the same wattage and stuff. And it just runs off a 12 volt battery and this has no guts in it. That has a circuit in it that uh, um, peanut butter has taken all apart and enhanced to make that bulb work better. And this bulb here doesn't have any circuit in it. It just runs off 12 volts. And I've been comparing the lumens per watt versus two, these two, uh, between these two, and it's, it's really interesting to look at. I haven't made up my mind uh, on this but the neat thing about this bulb is uh, I was able to take the lens off and uh, look at it and those are just one watt three volt LEDs in series and there's no no other circuit in that that's all there is to that bulb it works on 12 volts and uh, actually pretty darn efficient just like that and uh, I've been uh, playing with that. This thing has a little variable rheostat on the back so I can adjust the light versus the uh, amount of power that I feed to it. And uh, pretty impressive just like that. But I wanted to go a little further so I uh, found these LEDs online and I bought a bunch of them and these are the little 1 watt uh, 3 volt LEDs and I've been working with a 555 timer circuit blinking them. This happens to be the warm white color, which is like that color, which I like. And I've been looking at the amount of power that they require um, versus how fast you blink them. And this little oscillator here uh, will blink this between a few hertz on up to about 200 hertz, which is where I wanted to see um, what the power was versus the amount of light that I was getting out of it. And... Uh, very interesting. I haven't made up any decisions on that, but it was an interesting experiment to blink this thing and put it up, up uh, you know, above where you could see it blink in the 100 or 200 hertz or whatever. Anything above 60 or 70, it's hard to see it blink. So the camera's picking it up here, but when I go high enough, you see the camera doesn't even see it blink. And, uh, Anyway, I've been uh, working with this quite a bit, just seeing how that plays out. And uh, this is just running off that solar panel. There's no uh, no other feed to this. And this is what I wanted to see. Was there, was there a way to make a more efficient light uh, without having to use a battery? Because the battery is a big bugaboo right now. Is you know, What if your battery goes dead? What if you don't have a battery? But you had this thing sitting in the closet or the corner of the mud hut, <laughs> wherever you lived. And the sun comes up every day, usually, unless you're way up at the high latitudes. And if you had a way to make light um, efficiently, and it didn't cost a whole lot, this might be an answer without having to resort to a battery. And just using the solar energy straight up, you know, making it straight up. And then um, if you needed to use it at night, of course, you'd have to have some way to store the energy and that's where the capacitors, supercapacitors, or the battery, or some way to, to make the electricity. But if you were in a dark dwelling, which was um, the reason I thought this was kind of a neat idea, to be able to make the light and put it someplace else in the dark dwelling, I thought might be a, an interesting uh, project. So anyway, that's what I'm working on is uh, blinking the LEDs to see if we could blink one of these things here. And get a better return than simply plugging it into a, a power source of any kind and leaving it on full on all the time. And that's what that's happening right there. That's being blinked. And that's, I think, one of the reasons this is so efficient is that it's being blinked. Very similar to that, being blinked. So anyway, that's my thoughts on what I've been working with here is perhaps uh, taking this idea of um, the LED the good LEDs, the high power LEDs, and blinking them to make it a more efficient lumen per watt. Just my thoughts. Thanks for watching.